Hello, people of the internet, my name is Johnny, and believe it or not, but this year, on the 8th day of the 8th month, FNAF is turning 8 years old. It's a pretty interesting coincidence. And since FNAF fans tend to expect a lot of news on FNAF's anniversary, which if you look back on the history, isn't really the case. In 2019, we did get that teaser for Security Breach with the release date of 2020. We all, of course, know how that went down. 2020 rolls around, we got two unreleased teasers posted by Scott on the subreddit. And last year, 2021, we got the critically acclaimed Breaking and Entering teaser video for FNAF Plus. So I'm making this video to, number one, ease expectations. I, I'll be honest, I don't think we'll get in anything big this year. But also, number two, some predictions slash what I think we should see because the community is in some pretty desperate times uh, in regards to news. There's a lot of projects going around, some of which we don't really know a whole lot about, and the anniversary would be a good time to get a bit more news on those projects. So if you are excited about FNAF turning eight years old, that's right, we're all getting super old, hit the like button if you're new, subscribe. There's like 80% of you guys who watch the videos that aren't subscribed, please, we're trying to get to 50k by the end of the year. I really think we can do it, but of course we can't do it without your help. So first up, what do I realistically think we're going to get this year? I don't think we're gonna get anything. Don't get me wrong, we could get something, but in regards to like big, big things, I don't think we're gonna get anything like that. The most likely thing we're gonna get this year, honestly, is just some artwork by Steel Wool, celebrating the anniversary, and maybe it says like, hey, stay tuned for more info regarding the DLC for Security Breach coming soon. There's a lot of people out there who are like, oh my gosh, we're gonna get this gigantic ruined trailer, which Wow, that's insane. You gotta keep in mind, Ruin is still very, very early in development. So a trailer is just completely off the table. A teaser, maybe. But if we do get a teaser, I think it'll just be more artwork, kind of like what we saw on the poster back in May. But that is still kind of pushing it because we got the reveal poster only back in May, which was... Again, only a couple months ago. And with the release date still being pretty far away next year at some point, and it's still early in development, I just don't think we're gonna get anything big regarding Ruin. Some Fazbear Fanverse news could be interesting. We just got a major game, Pop Goes Arcade, released on Steam the other month, and we also got a full-on office reveal for Pop Goes Evergreen. And we know Kane and the team are super busy right now with another Pop Goes Arcade update and also releasing some more you know, uh, Steam point shop items. It just seems like they've got a lot on their plate and they've also shown off a lot of stuff recently already. So another reveal for the anniversary seems unlikely in my opinion. The Joy of Creation Ignited Collection is a very interesting series. We did just get some reveals, so that makes me think we won't get anything regarding T-Jock for the anniversary. Also, Nixon is pretty quiet, all things considered, so I just don't think we'll get anything revolving around T-Jock. FNAC 4, I also don't think we're gonna get anything. Not only did we just get a brand new FNAC game revealed uh, a couple weeks ago, I think at this point, FNAC Fur, and Emil is most likely pretty busy working on that game. I guess it's possible we get a FNAF 4 teaser, but just based off of how pacing has been going in regards to teasers revolving around FNAF 4, it seems unlikely. I'm sorry, I'd love some FNAF 4 news. Though FNAF Plus, I was going to say, up until a couple days ago, that it was our most likely contender for actually getting news about. Like I said at the start of the video, not only last year we got that amazing breaking and entering teaser video, which by the way, I'm not saying I'm expecting another breaking and entering video. That was insane. Mad props to Phil, but I can guarantee you, I can guarantee you he's not going to spend time to make another long video like that. Oh, a couple months ago, he did hint towards a possible Steam page reveal. And honestly, now seems like a good time for that. The way he worded his tweet makes it seem like it's about ready. It's about time to make a Steam page, and I think posting it on the anniversary would be a fantastic time. And all of that seemed likely until Phil responded to someone asking about his plans for the anniversary. So now it seems like maybe we won't get any FNAF Plus news. Also, poor Flumpties, we still don't know what's going on with the egg collection. So for that, I'm gonna say again, a big fat zero, which is a zero out of five for the Fanverse initiative. Okay, but what about merchandise? I mean, Kane just said, maybe we're gonna get some more Pop Goes merchandise news this week. I'm assuming it's about the Fanverse plushies because they're supposed to come out by the end of the month. So revealing the candy, Pop Goes, and Blake Funko plushies on the anniversary, 
Awesome, I'd take that. I'd love to see that. I'd also say it's possible we get some U2s news. They have shown off the Popko's U2s, they've shown off the T-Jock U2s. We're still waiting on the Candy's U2, so maybe they could show that off for the anniversary. That'd be awesome. Maybe an official post about the brand new Security Breach plushies. That could be interesting. I wouldn't count out U2s for anniversary news. And finally, the big news everyone is hoping for, the FNAF movie. Months ago, Jason Blum said that we were dangerously close. Those are his words, dangerously close to movie news. And we've still not heard anything. So could the anniversary finally be that time? In a recent tweet, he did say that the Halloween trailer and the FNAF movie were top of mind at Blumhouse. We've gotten the Halloween trailer now. So based off that tweet, the next news we get from Blumhouse about any film could be FNAF. You would think, right? If it's actually top of mind and if it's actually dangerously close to getting news, you would think so. A lot of people are saying that Jason may not know that the August 8th is the anniversary of FNAF, which I guess is possible, but I also think it's possible that Scott said, hey, the anniversary is coming up. What news we got? What can we show the fans? They're super excited for the film. Can we show off anything? Because at this point, even if the news is not that big, like, oh, hey, we've got a new director, we finally got a script down, we're promised we're not going to be scrapping this one. I'll take that. I don't care if it's super small. I just want some news on the FNAF movie. Do I think we're going to get some this anniversary? With that said, probably not, because every time we've been thinking we're going to get some movie news, it never actually happens. So I'd say ease expectations on that, but also... Come on, Jason and Scott, just give us something. And I think that's all the major projects. So just for a quick rundown, Fanverse Initiative, I wouldn't be expecting anything. Maybe we'll get a few teasers of some game, most likely FNAF Plus, though again, we did just get that insane gameplay reveal a couple months ago. I would love a Steam page reveal, but again, based on Phil's reply to someone asking about the anniversary, everything just seems unlikely in regards to news on FNAF Plus. Movie news, I'd again love to see it, but based on the track record with Jason saying, hey, you're gonna get news pretty soon, and then us, you know, not getting news anytime soon, I'd say let's just be cautious this time. Merchandise, I'd say we have a high chance of getting some, whether we do actually get some reveals on the anniversary or just a little bit after later on this week. It's possible, again, based on Kane's tweet, it's actually extremely likely, almost guaranteed, and finally, post from Scott and Steel Wool, yeah, I'd say unlikely. I think people oftentimes forget that just Scott doesn't post anymore. It's unfortunate, but everyone who's like, oh yeah, we'll get a movie update from Scott or he's going to make another big list of all the projects coming. That's just unlikely. I know he did say in Daco's recent charity stream that big things are coming this year. So maybe we can get some reveals. I, I don't know. It's very hard to say because he'll say big things are coming and then also be off the Reddit. So we don't know what things are coming because he doesn't make posts about them and steel wool i'd say expect some art at absolute best we get another artwork teaser for ruin maybe a very very quick ominous description absolutely no trailer i don't want to see a single one of you guys in the comments saying oh we could get a ruin tra trailer but i think that's going to do it for this video talking about the anniversary again it's crazy to think that fnaf is turning eight years old and we have a lot of projects going on that we don't really know a whole lot about. I'm not trying to seem like a Debbie Downer, but it's just based on the track records of anniversary posts and also everyone posting a lot of news pretty recently. I just don't think this anniversary is going to be all stacked up with FNAF news like some people are expecting. So I'm just trying to ease expectations saying, you know, if we don't get anything, don't feel bad about it. We still have a lot of stuff to look forward to. And again, based on Scott's comment on Daco stream, hopefully... We got some amazing stuff coming and hopefully we, we can get some news on it. Maybe not this anniversary, but hopefully pretty soon down the line. Bit of a strange video, not really formatted all too well, but I hope you enjoyed nonetheless. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all on the flip side. Goodbye.